Don't Hug Me I'm Scared was literally the definition of overnight success. With their first video dating all the way back to 11 years, until this day, this one video is still bringing in a thousand views to the channel every hour. Nobody really knew what this channel was or why they made this their very first video. Even though the newest videos revolve around two puppets and one live action red guy. Of course, we can just mark this off as YouTubers changing their content. Back in 2010 and 2014 was the peak of dark and mysterious YouTube videos, with the most memorable videos being Markiplier Let's Plays of Five Nights at Freddy's and Father Don't Hug Me I'm Scared. And those are just the ones I know off the top of my head while making this script. But believe me, there was a lot more videos that reached over 20 million views like Hamster Hell or Scientifically Accurate, constantly ending up on everyone's recommendations. I'm trying so hard not to... I hate smacking in my videos. I, I, it's always just coming out of nowhere and I and I got to water my lips a little bit and then, uh, then, it, uh, then I can finally do something right. When this first video of Father Don't Hug Me I'm Scared came out, I just thought it was a weird choreography, dance, and art video. And then the video titled Don't Hug Me I'm Scared came out just a year after their first upload. And this was the very first time I was introduced to this mysterious, somewhat family-friendly video that just had a couple of puppets singing. So I thought nothing of it, but I kept watching because there was a weird atmosphere that couldn't be explained in this video as if the characters were just a sideshow and there was something bigger going going backstage and i was right to think that because as the video kept going it just got worse and worse with the first red flag being the black paint pouring over a clown and the music stopping leaving it silent for a brief moment then goes back to singing as if nothing happened whoa well, there friend you might need to slow it down Good tip. And this talking notepad tells them to listen to the voices in their head and start getting creative. Which leads to an arts and craft montage and everyone turns into live action characters and they all glitter up an actual heart. Back then I had no idea Father Don't Hug Me I'm Scared was so good at making something so ominous and scary. And that got the attention of none other than film theory. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Oh yeah? Well mine is unraveling the mysteries of insane viral videos. Hello internet, welcome to Film Theory, the YouTube version of your uncle who thinks that everything is a conspiracy. Matt Pat, or better known as Game Theory explained this video perfectly and I suggest you watch his Film Theory video about this channel, The Ransom Note. In the month of May 2014, Don't Hug Me I'm Scared uploaded two videos only 19 seconds long titled Help and Help 2. In this video, it reveals Red Guy and Yellow Guy held hostage by a character we have never seen before in past videos or future videos, just these two videos. Maybe they'll bring him back in 2022. These two videos were maybe just a way to ask the community for help because I'm pretty sure Father Don't Hug Me I'm Scared was expensive to make. Anyway, Don't Hug Me I'm Scared uploaded only 11 videos to their platform and then just disappeared 6 years later. Or so we thought until the secret comeback. Hope you like these little story title chapter things. I thought it was going to be a good way to cut up the video. I got the idea from Tuv, so thank him for my better editing skills. And I also thought it was going to be a good way to, you know, just talk to you for a little bit because I'm... <laughs> we ain't gonna get into that this little snippet of talking to you face to face by the camera is just an idea from patrick cc so thank you to those two for making this video a little more better anyway let's get back into the video the amazing world of gumball came out with a new episode in 2017 titled the puppets in this episode gumball and darwin are throwing away old toys they no longer play with and they come across three puppets in a box and clearly Gumball isn't happy he found them and tells Darwin to leave them alone and throw them away. Sadly, Darwin doesn't listen to Gumball and puts the puppets on his nubs and the puppets take over his hands and takes Darwin to another dimension. To get Darwin back, Gumball has to put on one of these puppets to take him to a different dimension. This dimension is where Gumball and Darwin made up all kinds of imaginary characters when they were younger. Then this low tone puppet points to a house and tells us Darwin is trapped in there. This episode has Becky and Joe written all over it. The humor, the realization that they're puppets, and the hypnotizing repeated music and of course the airy silence of the music abruptly stopping then going back to singing as if nothing happened you did it wrong with that first cake it's your time with the balloon the fun will never end this episode brought back a lot of memories. All of these reaction videos and film theories just came back to me after six years and one day I knew they will be returning to YouTube. Finally returning to YouTube. And now we're here in 2022 and they've just announced they will be coming back in the month of September. But 2010 and 2014 was such a different era of YouTube. I wonder how the creators of Don't Hug Me I'm Scared will be able to adapt to this new construct of content. Because nowadays you aren't even allowed to show blood on YouTube unless it's a video game. But even that's a thin line to walk on. 
We all seen what happened to the channel Rocket Rocket. Ever since YouTube's new policy, their channel was infested with demonetized videos because what they do isn't accepted on YouTube anymore. Even though YouTube has a YouTube's Kids app and should be promoting that to every parent who doesn't want to be a parent and gives their kids iPads so they won't have to deal with them. Sorry, I just really had to get that one off my chest. But I can't wait to see what Becky and Joe has in store for us after all of these years. Only time will tell. Hope you enjoyed this video. Of course you did because you watched through the entire video. Shout out to Simon for commenting on my last video. If you want a chance to be featured in the next video, comment something as simple as hi. And I'll let you know if you won. But that's all I have for today. Peace out.